Hi guys and welcome back. In this video today we're going to be talking about world building, character building, and character design. And this is something I still need to figure out myself a lot because I haven't really done a terrible amount of it. But I will show you guys my experiences and talk a little bit about what I plan to do. So first off we'll talk about world building. And this is something that can either be super detailed or a little bit of a mystery you know, based on what you want to do. Um, my world is basically going to be like a part of Earth, but it's going to have major differences. Um, you can have your story in space, or you can have it in like an underground society. It's really up to you and what your purpose with the plot is. But you'll notice in my um, graphic novel, or my graphic webcomic, I guess, um, that it does look similar to Earth if you look at the setting. Um, there will be trees, you know, lakes, mountains, all that kind of good stuff. But later on in the novel, we will go to some desert areas, which I'm looking forward to. And we will go to um, colder areas, you know, snowy places. And, you know, basically everything in between that we have here on Earth. And since it is a journey story, we will go a lot of different places and see a lot of different things. And you got to take into effect the architecture of your society. And it may change based on where you go. So like in my uh, webcomic, you know, everything's going to look a little different than, you know, if I end up in one place to the next. So you just kind of have to take into effect what the setting will be and where your characters will be staying or living, etc. You can go into a little bit of the religion or the politics if you like. Um, this uh, webcomic is going to definitely talk a little bit about religion. And um, there will be gods, like multiple gods, but it's not going to be like a Greek mythology where you have like Zeus and, you know, all that kind of good stuff and like all his 16 or 700 children that he has or whatever. Um, but there will be an aspect of gods and kings, so that's going to, you know, be present later on in the novel and I don't want to give too much away. But you can also think about, um, you know, society, are there going to be peasants, are there going to be um, people in between? and just kind of go off from where you want your characters to go and what's going to be prevalent in your, your novel or your story. And your world may include magic or it may not, but you want your magic to be believable and you want it to have kind of rules and regulations. So um, Scathe, for example, he is kind of like a magician kind of person. Uh, his title is still in the working of what he actually does. but. Um, he doesn't just poof in and out of existence wherever he wants to be. There will be um, sort of rules, you know, he has to be summoned or, you know, someone has to call upon him, which is actually how he appears in the scene right here, but we'll get into that maybe some other time. Um, but you do want your magic to be believable. If you just have, you know, if you just take every single magical thing that's happened in every book or movie ever and just kind of mesh it into your story, it's just not going to work out. It's not going to be believable. It's going to be a little bit wonky and uh, it just won't be a very fun thing to witness. It can be very messy. So you do want to have rules and you do want to have sort of um, a balance of power when it comes to magic and the abilities of magic users. Um, but that's only if you have that in your story. Um, you can have other things like you know, of course, religion like we talked about, or um, government. I'm not really going to get into the whole government thing, but we will get, um, in, in the story, we will get uh, a king or a queen or something in between. Hint, hint. Um, so that's something that you can look into later. But now we're going to go talk about some character building. So it's a little different than character design. I'll get into that later on in this video, but the character building is basically their personality and their qualities, their goals, and stuff like that. So Blight and Bram are going to have very similar kind of goals. Um, their personalities will be a little different. They're both kind of hot-headed in nature, uh, but they are also both struggling with acceptance and um, their whole monstrous qualities. And this novel, or not novel, I keep saying novel, it's not a novel, but um, the story is going to be about monsters and humanity, and so that's something that we'll see a lot of um, throughout the entire story. But without giving too much away, they both just want to be accepted for who they are and what they, um, what they present themselves as, without changing their entire personality, their entire aspect, because it's just not healthy to do that, you know, you don't want to change everything about yourself and then, you know, find out like, who am I? Like, I don't even know who I am at this point anymore. But anyway, um, your personality of your character will be determined 
how you see them and how other people see them. So you can have a super serial killer, like Light Yagami type of character, but you know, Light Yagami was also a very liked character throughout the entire show. I mean, you could have hated his guts, but you still kind of related with him in a way. And that's something that you do want to include in your uh, story. You want to have likable characters, whether they're bad or good, and they have to be believable. So that's something that you need to think about whenever you're designing or plotting up your characters. Um, and then we can go a little into character design. And this is something I still have trouble with. I mean, I can draw a character repeatedly, like, you know, a couple of times a day, and, you know, they'll still be the same character. But coming up with the designs for Blight and Scathe, and basically the entire Evergrey race was kind of difficult. Like, I didn't know what I wanted to do with them at first. I knew I wanted them to be monstrous, but I also wanted them to have human qualities. And there is a very fine line between goofy character design and realistic character design. And I guess these guys are somewhere in the middle. I mean, they are kind of, you know, animated skeletons that walk around and talk and everything like that. But they might end up goofy. That's up to you guys. Um, but I think they look pretty cool. And, you know, I wouldn't draw them if they weren't, basically. But, uh, yeah, designing the characters was a long journey. Like, at first, um, Blight was a human-looking creature, and she had, like, pointy elf ears and, you know, just kind of a, a messed-up face because I did not want her to be beautiful because that's not the point of the book. I mean, dang it, it's not a book. That's not the point of the story. Um, it's going to be a little bit about that, um, you know, the acceptance of who you are and beauty standards, but that's another topic for another day. But um, you kind of have to decide on a design for your character, and coming up with one for Bram was difficult for me as well, because a year ago he looks completely different than what he does now. And, you know, I wasn't doing the, the webcomic a year ago, but I'm glad I got him to where he's at now because he's a little easier to draw. Um, I do find it hard for me to draw actual humans than I do the characters, like uh, monsters and stuff, but anyway, um, yeah, you have to make your character something that you can draw repeatedly and, you know, from different angles, different views, and you have to draw them a lot if you are doing a graphic novel or a story or something like that. Um, if you're not an artist, then this will not apply to you, but you do want them to have a, you know, a design that will be used throughout the entire process of your story. And I guess that goes into making character sheets for your um, characters. You have to have a reference sheet, um, draw them from different angles, whatever clothes they're going to be wearing, and I can actually do a video about that if um, any of you guys are interested in that. And yeah, you just want to, you know, change their clothes or their attire for whatever um, environment they are in or whatever culture they're in. And yeah, that's just kind of a big deal when it comes to creating a long lasting story. And I do want the story to be rather long, which is, I guess, why I keep calling it a novel and a book. Um, but it will take several years for it to be done, I think, because I'm already taking forever to get chapter or episode 6 posted, but it will happen eventually, I promise. Um, but yeah, um, world building, character building, character design, they're all super integral in, in creating a webcomic, a novel, what have you, and it's something that you really need to think about and really need to focus on if you want your story to be believable and likable. And you know, I'm still struggling with it, and I know you guys, you might be struggling with your um, designs or your stories as well, and that's completely okay. That's why we have Facebook, you know, Instagram, YouTube, because we take all the inspiration from everything that we absorb in a day, and we kind of add it up into what we want to happen in our own thing, and that's completely fine. You know, you got to take inspiration from everywhere to get one thing, you know, just produced, even if it's only like one scene or like, it's a, a second long like interlude between two characters, you know? Anyway, that's kind of what this is leading up to, is take inspiration from everything that you see and everyone that you enjoy or that catches your interest, and you can add it all up and make it your own precious little gift box to the world. And whether or not you share it with anybody or you just make it for your own pleasure, that's also, you know, whatever you want to do. Um, I personally just decided to make webcomic because I had an idea and I want people to watch it and look at it. And, you know, I think a lot of people like it. I mean, even if they don't, it's something I really love and I just want to keep making until I have it over, which is probably going to be a long time from now. But, yeah. Thank you all for watching and listening in this video. Um, I'll see you all next time. I will be posting 
um, the episode very soon, I hope. But if you guys want to read my comic, I will leave the links in the description below as always. And again, thank you all for listening and watching. I'll see y'all next time. Bye.